NEM is a well-established large-cap cryptocurrency project with a focus on providing tailored blockchain solutions for businesses and enterprises. In this video, we'll cover everything you need to know about NEM in under five minutes. Hi guys, my name is AG Hunter. Welcome back to my channel. My goal is to help you make better investment decisions by providing you with quality analysis of cryptocurrency projects. If you like what you see in this video, please hit those like and subscribe buttons. And as always, if you have any feedback or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. NEM stands for the New Economy Movement. Founded in 2015, NEM was both one of the earlier blockchain projects and also one of the earliest competitors to Ethereum. Like Ethereum, NEM aims to provide a smart contract platform upon which other applications can be built. It is therefore a competitor to projects such as Ethereum, Polkadot and EOS. In this video, we'll look at the features of the NEM project, briefly discuss the technology underlying the protocol and finish with an assessment of the strengths and weaknesses of NEM as an investment. Before we start, I need to make my standard disclaimer that I am not a financial advisor. All investments are inherently risky and you should do your own research before making any investment decisions. NEM was designed from the start to be lightweight and fast. The NEM blockchain is able to process 3,000 to 4,000 transactions per second and NEM's innovative consensus mechanism, which is known as proof of importance, significantly reduces both the hardware requirements and the energy consumption needed to run a NEM node. The native token of the NEM blockchain is XEM, which you'll often hear referred to as ZEM. Proof of importance is similar in some ways to staking, but it also takes into account how active an individual user is on the NEM network. Just like proof of stake, NEM requires you to stake a certain number of tokens in order to qualify to operate a node and earn block rewards. NEM also has a vesting requirement, which means that users must both stake tokens and leave them staked for a period of time before becoming eligible to earn block rewards. The minimum requirement to run a node is 10,000 vested NEM tokens. In addition to the vesting requirements, users are also rewarded for their activity on the network. In its simplest terms, the more you have staked and the more you use the blockchain, the more important you will be. This is intended to promote a more equitable and decentralized experience for NEM users. Your importance influences how much you can earn from validating transactions and also how much influence you have on network governance. In the NEM network, node operators are known as harvesters. Harvesters earn block rewards from the fees paid for the transactions that they validate. Users can choose to either run their own node or to delegate their importance to other users who are often running what are called super nodes. Perhaps the most important feature of the NEM project is its focus on business to business markets. This is where I see that it differs significantly from some of its competitors such as Ethereum. NEM has focused on developing features that make it easier for non-blockchain based companies to incorporate blockchain technology into their existing operations. A practical example of this is that NEM intentionally has no privacy features. The blockchain is intended to be 100% transparent and 100% traceable. This is seen as being more attractive to large companies who may be interested in the technology but wish to ensure they remain compliant with existing regulations in the markets in which they operate. The protocol supports a variety of applications including supply chain tracking, document tracing and asset management. The next step in the evolution of the enterprise solution is the launch of the Symbol blockchain which went live on March 17, 2021. Symbol, which has the native token XYM, is marketed as being an evolution of the NEM blockchain. It is intended to exist in parallel to the NEM blockchain and for the two blockchains to complement one another. Like NEM, XYM offers a variety of tools to make it easier for businesses to interact with the blockchain. This includes features like pre-configured smart contract packages. Thus, businesses wanting to incorporate blockchain do not need to develop bespoke blockchain solutions, but can simply select from a pre-existing suite of products and services that meet their need. I'll summarize by reviewing what I see as some of the strengths and weaknesses of this project. In terms of strengths, while the enterprise market may not be particularly exciting in the same way that projects like Ethereum or Polkadot are exciting, it is still extremely large. One video I saw estimated that the enterprise blockchain market could be worth as much as $25 billion by the year 2025. The NEM team are also very experienced, being one of the earliest teams to enter crypto. The fact that the NEM project still exists and is operational is a testament both to the strength of the team and their staying power. NEM has rewarded token holders recently with the launch of the Symbol blockchain. XYM tokens were airdropped at a ratio of 1 to 1 to existing NEM token holders. The combined value of these two tokens is currently over $1, which compares favorably to the NEM price prior to the airdrop of approximately 57 cents. Thus, the symbol airdrop has resulted in an almost doubling of value for holders of NEM. A significant weakness that I found was the quality of the marketing and documentation for the project. It was exceptionally difficult to find even basic information to prepare this review. Despite having a multi-billion dollar market cap, NEM has a very limited presence on social media channels and appears to have a relatively subdued community. NEM is competing in an incredibly crowded section of the marketplace, with its competitors being the likes of Ethereum, Polkadot, and Algorand. The project has a very low profile and it's difficult to see what meaningful competitive advantage it has over its competition. The investment case is also clouded by the existence of two parallel blockchains. While the project team claims that the two blockchains are intended to coexist, it's certainly seen from the material that I reviewed that Symbol is the focus of the project moving forward. This is not to say that the broader NEM project won't be successful, but the lack of clear direction from the team as to the future of the NEM blockchain itself makes it difficult to judge its merits as an investment. XYM appears to be the future, and this is also where I would be placing my money if I wanted to invest in this project. 
So if you're still here, that means you've watched all the way to the end, which must mean that you like what you've seen. Please hit like and subscribe to show your appreciation. Also, if you have any comments or suggestions on this video, or would like to suggest topics for future videos, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.